Artisan Ashud Hussain, an expert in stone-carved sculptures and historical stonework, says the art is dying and so are the artists. It is deeply affected because of terrorism in the region, because tourists don't come here anymore and the market value of our work is only in foreign countries. So if we can't sell it abroad, then there is no value for our work here in Pakistan, because the foreigners write history and use our sculptures as historical pieces. Ghulam Masood shares these views. While he is still working and committed to this art, he is upset by the adverse conditions. There is no more demand for this art anymore. Tourists used to come here and we would make small sculptures to sell to them, but now since there are no foreign buyers, there is no demand as such. The only pieces we are creating are for a very few Pakistanis who want pieces made to decorate their houses, and that's all. The National Council of Arts in Islamabad has organized a workshop to teach Kandara art to young and talented students so that these carving skills can be passed on to a new generation. Artisans have been invited to show their work as a way to develop interest and appreciation for their skills. Arshad Hussain says while the situation at home is not ideal, he is hopeful such workshops can benefit their art. <laughs> We have become disheartened, but now we are a little hopeful that our work will be acknowledged by this organization. If they cooperate with us, things will and can get better. For reporter Nasser Mahmood, I'm Aisha Gilani, VOA News, Washington.